Bonjour ladies and gentlemen, Hattenbox here with some more Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Bane. Today we're going to be doing, if I can get to it correctly, Red Brass. This is an episode 7 mission. Uh, this one's a, it's a little tough, so basically what you want to do on this mission, uh, I'll show you where exactly where you, you don't want to spawn in. Um, <clears throat> so basically, there's already one guard here. Uh, there's a guard up in this camp. Oh, okay, okay. The premise of this mission is you're supposed to capture or kill three Soviet commanders that are having a meeting in Davyalo Kalai. So, to beat this mission even faster, you can actually capture the one, uh, one heading from Dishago Kalai all the way on this road, which is pretty easy, uh, pretty simple to get. Or you can head up here to this landing zone and do the Waksin Barracks and get him. Um, I believe there's always going to be one here. Uh, if you don't get there on time, he will leave eventually, but and I'm pretty sure he'd be the Gwande car. But we're going to go to the Dashago Kalaiwan, uh, get him first, and we're going to uh, rush over to the Davielo Kalai. So we're going to do this one real fast. Um, in all honesty, the best buddy for this mission is probably the horse. And uh, you can actually uh, get rid of his battle dress. I, I don't really, really use the battle dress at all, so. Uh, but you do you do really want D-Horse for this mission. By the way, uh, spawn at night so you, they won't see you as well. You do want D-Horse for this mission because of his special ability, as you may have remembered from Where Did the Bee Sleep. Uh, his poop makes you... Your, your car spin out of control. I don't know the logic behind it. It's, it's a weird concept to me. Probably a Hideo Kojima game. Probably, I mean, who knows? Three Soviet commanders are meeting at Davialo Calais. The mission is to eliminate all three. How you do it is up to you, boss. Good luck. I always like these, um, the names that they have for these little towns. Uh, Afghanistan has interesting names. Yeah, so all three of them meet up there. If you remember, that is the first outpost you ever capture. So there you go. This is the route that they take. Actually, you know what? You could have spawned down south. I forgot that he takes this bottom road. I always think he's going to take this one, but he does, they do not take dotted roads. They take solid roads. So that's still okay. Um, this is actually probably a good spot, too. So you just place a marker right there. That way you can uh, run over to it. Take your horse out there. Have a nice little ride. So. We're gonna do this perfect stealth, no kills, uh, no reflex, no retries. Yeah, I think that's everything. Um, yeah. No killing. So uh, that should be a guaranteed automatic S rank. Um, I don't believe time matters too much to get your S rank. I mean, obviously, the faster you do it, the more time, or the less time you'll take doing it. You know, it's just how the, the, this game works. It's weird. So you obviously don't want to spend too much time, but I have a little method that I use to actually uh, complete this mission a little quicker, I guess you could say. So, you may be wondering, like, okay, so we're, we're getting this one. This one takes time to get because he takes a while to get here. And you're right. He takes so long to get here that the other one is probably already going to come through come and, uh, you know, be dropped off at the meeting point. But the thing is, when that happens... You know, they, they sit there, there's only two of them, they're waiting for the third one. After a while, they have to leave, because there's nothing they can do, they, they can't do the meeting, it's it's kind of like a small detail that I really like. So as they are leaving, you can actually snipe, it's not snipe, but uh, you can make them both fall asleep, uh, like right outside before, like the guards will leave first, the guards that are guarding them. Analysis complete. Sorry, I kind of got distracted. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. So, um, the guards leave first, then the commanders do. So when the commanders fall behind, you can easily take them out, and uh, the, their guards will not notice, which is Analysis a very nice complete. thing for you, so you do not get screwed over. So I'm going to scout out. Uh, there are some guys... Yep, there's one guy Analysis over there by the fire. Complete. He's actually really good, and I kind of want him, but... I gotta resist. Um, the meeting spot is literally 
right over there. Uh, there are two guards in front of the door. Right now we are just waiting for this truck to come on by and I'll, I'll, I'll get to that point when uh, we do. Oh, you can actually hear. Oh, there they are. There's one. Which means... Where are you? There you go. And there's the other one. So now they should spin out of control. And uh, they should. Um, no guarantees that they will. But as soon as they do that, uh, they should be far enough away so that you don't get spotted uh, flipping them out. Detected. The map oh, has there's been another guy. Analysis complete. So they're coming on through. Uh, this one will come in a sec. You can use the microphone to tell when they're coming, and you can even hear them. So there is him. Is that him? Take a We're just gonna come over here. Gonna sit down. You can uh, get rid of your profile. Like, get as low as you can. He's not gonna see you though. And boom. There you go. So now they're all busy. Uh, actually, I should mention that both captain's bodyguards, uh, at least one of them is like an A plus rank, pretty much. Like, it's pretty interesting. So you should do that flawlessly, so there should be no issues. That counts as one, so there's one target for you. Alright. So, um, Diog could be good for this mission, however, the horse is, like, substantially, substantially better. I, I, w I would prefer to use him in this mission more than anything. So we're just going to, uh, I guess we're going to walk up there, because the horse likes to, uh, take his sweet little time. I'm gonna get off right here. I do not want to be spotted by that man. So you see that first guard right outside? Uh, that guy on the left, he's in there, the room with the second guy. Uh, that's the second commander in there. I do want him, so I'll Fulton him out. Uh, there's two guards in front of the door where they're uh, meeting, and there's one patrolling all the way around. So you want to take out this guy. So there's the second guard. Don't get spotted. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to redo all this, and that'd be uh, fun, you know. Usually, how it goes. Analysis scan complete. him. Analysis scan complete. him. They don't have those two bodyguards in particular aren't very good. And you just want to run a little bit further away than normal because there's that guy right there on uh, the 85 mil uh, meters away from me at that present moment. I was looking at them. Come over here. Boom. Because they do spot you if you do it too close. So I'm gonna bring them a substantial distance away. Now here's the tricky part, and you can do this if you like. If you can do this fast enough, and without the guards on the indoors, or the commanders indoors noticing, you can actually uh, get rid of the guards in the front. I don't know if you saw that guy, like you could barely see him, but uh, that's the patrolling guard right there. He's the one who patrols. Um, if you do it fast enough, you can take out both of the bodyguards, and that way when they come out, they leave practically like they, they leave by themselves, no guard follows. That's a very good thing for you. I'm actually gonna make use of this. So you have that one marker right there is telling me that there is one guy spotted, unspotted, and I believe that's the commander. Uh, this other one, there's a few targets over there that I have not spotted yet. This guy likes to walk around a little bit more than he needs to. That's alright. Oh, uh, there's also rough diamonds. I haven't figured out how to get onto the roof normally. I mean, I'm sure you can jump on that and figure a way around, but... Oh, that's actually the other guy we need. Alright, so that guy in the building, I guess they're waiting for some reason. I don't know why the other guy is outside, but... I mean, I guess that's it. Maybe he's just waiting for his partner in crime. So you, you want to take this one a little slow. If you take this one too fast, you're going to get spotted and you're going to alert everybody in your vicinity. And you do not want that because then the commanders will leave, then you got to go chase them down and that wastes even more time than you already have wasted. So, I don't know what he's checking. I mean, I haven't done anything yet, so. What I'm going to do is... 
He's taking his sweet time. I could do this. Yep, and they won't notice. That guard's heading indoors now, so that's very good. Or not the guard, the uh, commander. Uh, if you want, I wouldn't take him out. I pref I would prefer you do not take that man out. Just do this. Boom. Uh, do not take that guard out because the guard across the way will see him because he's sitting in the light. And that could potentially screw you over. Uh, you do not want that happening. So just take these guys. Uh, if you want to extract them, that takes them out a little bit uh, more than... Well, it, it takes them out indefinitely. So we're going to take this guy, we're going to set him right here. Uh, we're actually going to set one of the guys in the dumpster right over there by the... Uh, uh, that uh, where the rough diamond is and the power supply. And we can actually take that out if we wanted to get them out a little faster than your you know, normal. So, uh, how do you know when they're going to leave? Because, you know, they're not going to sit here forever waiting for... Um, you know, the guy to come in. And uh, you may be wondering that, and you're like, well, okay, how am I supposed to know? And basically, they just give you a sound cue. I, I swear, it's, it's that easy. They give you the easiest sound cue in the world. So, uh, they, they will literally tell you, they're like, we're not waiting anymore, let's just go. Actually, there's the guy I did not spot yet. Analysis. I believe that is everyone. Yeah, that's everyone spotted. That's everyone in the base. He's actually pretty freaking good. I kind of want him. Uh, he's not too good. I'm gonna take out this guy. Standing him over here. Uh, away from that other guard, because you do not have to want both of them to fall asleep. You can throw them over. Uh, half of them bug out a little. If you so wish. Uh, good. Comfortable distance away from this man. Shoot him in the face. If you don't have this uh, sniper rifle, uh, you probably don't have it with the silencer, and uh, you have to do side ups, side of the side ops to get him uh, to get the customizable weapons. Because well, you have to be in Africa first, and then it, you have to, I believe, you have to complete the first mission in Africa, probably the first or second. Then you unlock side ops in order to get customizable weapons, and it's as simple as that. Alright, so what we can actually do if you wanted to, check out a clip. Uh, actually, they're, it probably won't work uh, because they'll send someone else out. If you want to make this go a little bit faster, just uh, come over here. Okay, and so you, you saw that text on the screen that's indicating that they're going to leave. Uh, one of them actually will lag behind a little bit, and that is to your benefit. Uh, don't stop here where I am. Uh, he's actually going to see it, or hear the falling of that man, and he will come out. Just checking my map. Oh. And the outpost is yours. Uh, you can do it, you can capture the outpost if, too if you wanted to. Thankfully, they are, oops, I did not want to catch him. Uh, <laughs> I did not want to pick him up. Uh, basically, all you need to do now, gosh darn, I don't want that. Get down. Extract him out, and that's good. You, you didn't kill them, and it counts towards your points. Uh, there is a little mission objective where if you let all three of them come in, and then you listen to their conversation at the very end, I guess you get like, some detailed info. Uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Also, if you want to, head right over here. Boom. Get this. If you so please. And there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Comment what I can improve on. Like if you did. I, I like to change it up every little, once in a while, you know. Don't worry about it. So you just call in your uh, helicopter here. I would just go to your helicopter. And there you go. That's how you S-rank this mission pretty, pretty decently fast. So... I leave you with the rest of this mission.
to that mother base. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only.